I was once in Australia and um, this is just popping into my head and I had done um, combo before cambo have you heard of it they cambo like the root it, it's it's like they it's scraped off of uh, off of a frog it's not like the frog venom it's not the five meo dmt that um that you put in a pipe and smoke and trip this is that's scraped called off of a or different, something right yeah i don't know and then this is uh this is different you scrape it off it's like Oofo. meant as this wellness thing a bufo yes that's it mm-hmm. and then they burn a hole in your arm they put a little bit in to your burn and then you get the most ill you have <laughs> ever been and <laughs> if long? you're lucky you puke everywhere and <laughs> because you don't want that shit in you <laughs> and if you roll snake eyes <laughs> diarrhea or just it's in you oh i think diarrhea too oh. but it's in, but it's in you <laughs> and then and then afterwards you're supposed to have this grand clarity and everything and people are like oh wow i can i just feel so much healthier and blah 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 i mean it might be doing something but it's also like textbook best placebo possible because you're really doing something invasive and slightly dangerous and it's subconsciously like well i wouldn't have done that to myself yeah if it weren't doing nothing and so i'd done it once it was actually recorded during psychonautics when i did it we just never put it in the film my director was good at like Let's not make you look any crazier than you already do. <laughs> and let's not let make psychedelics look crazier than that. Cause, cause we went to like, we went to like a hand healing type thing. I'm talking about if you're new to the show for some reason, um, I have a documentary called Psychonautics, a comics exploration of psychedelics, which many of you probably already know. Otherwise it's available on Amazon prime, but yeah, I did like light healing and all these other various things like trying to trip off cannabis, all these things that got cut on, left on the cutting room floor. That being one of them. Whoa, I am still going real hard. The combo medicine or the sapo, as it is known in Peru, is the secretion of the phylomedusa bicolor frog. And it's a giant frog that's from the upper Amazon region. It lives up in the treetops. And the secretions contain these um, very strong bioactive peptides, many of them that work, can work in minutes to cleanse our livers, flush the lymph system, clear the ears, clear the eyes. It is a magnificent medicine. It is my favorite medicine. No allergies, no heart problems. No, nothing like that. Intention today for this first combo cleanse. I want this to be a reset. I have not been kind to my body or my mind and (laughs) lately. And uh, this is, I have some time now to really work on myself. And so this is Meant to be kind of a reset and be clear. So if you get that reset today, what will you do with it? Oh, well, I will hope to improve my uh, relationships. I hope to find... Those are thoughts, though. Actions. What will you do? I would would like to journal a little bit and just see... I can usually measure the clarity of my mind through journaling. But start today. So I believe that the first time that you try a medicine, even if it's a pharmaceutical medicine, that's when you're gonna get the most benefit out of that medicine. Eventually, the the strength of the medicine or the person, you get um, used to it, Mm -hmm. and so it doesn't work as well. You know, depressants, that happens all the time, happens with other drugs. Um, And it's not that it doesn't happen with this, um, but because this is your first time, you have such the opportunity, you have a big opportunity Mm -hmm. to really make some changes in your life. And I've seen people do this medicine and never drink again, ever. And they didn't even have an intention not to drink again. Mm -hmm. They just wanted to be happy. Mm -hmm. And so being happy included not drinking again. I think that would absolutely make me a happier person. So so the goal is to be happy, at peace. Yeah. I drowned out a lot of my pain and anxieties and social anxieties and things like that. Mm
We're going to start on the left side. Um, how about three points today? It's pretty standard. Good number. One, two, three. The combo medicine is taken most often in the morning at daybreak. It's very important not to have eaten any food for about 12 hours. It's also most important to drink a good amount of water. The standard is about two liters. The water um, will serve as a, as a medium for the toxins to, to leave the body. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this top layer of skin off. And your skin is gonna serve as a filter. Because remember this medicine is from the skin of a frog. The medicine is collected by the tribes by scraping the skin of the frog and it's put onto a stick. I'm going to have you put some of your spit in here, just in case. Awesome. So what I'm doing here is I'm mixing the skin of the frog with your saliva. It's going to make this sticky little substance, which I'm going to place on the top of these burns. You should start feeling warm first, usually. Feel a heat rising, maybe rising up. You might feel it in your ears. Actually, love that part. Hand on, you good? Yeah, I'm feeling warmer. Definitely, mostly You've got in my some, face. You've got some serious blood stagnation, I can tell. Vomiting is good. It's a bonus. I don't have to worry about holding in the vomit or anything for as long as I can. Or... No, please don't. As soon as you may, as soon as you can, you may vomit. I'm starting to feel a little lighter. My feet are real cold, sweating. Feeling well? <laughs> My stomach's pulsing. See? You don't vomit today, you will the next time. Mm. You do have some circulation issues. Yeah. You turn blue. I feel pretty comfortable. My face feels like it's puffing up a lot. And your eyes are super red. Yeah, my eye, it feels like there's pressure on my eyes. The worst of it's about 10 minutes. And what, it, it's um, as, as fast as you start to get sick and feel sick, you start to feel better. So when you start to feel better, you start to be, feel better really quick. So in this experience, it's really important to keep your head above your shoulders. Multiple sessions of combo are required for addiction or certain health crises or intentions. What the combo does is, is it rids your body of resistance. The resistance that you, that you encounter in everyday life, if it's pharmaceutical sludge or if it's just bad thoughts or just worries in your minds or doubts or you know, food left over, it rids the body of all that resistance. So it's not that you feel great because you took this medicine. You feel great because the resistance is, has been removed. And what you're feeling is your true self what you have to give at all times without the resistance. You feel dizzy? No, I feel a little lightheaded. I'm starting to feel better already. Can you work on the circulation? Yeah, though, I mean, my, I've had circulation issues my entire life. I mean, doctors have noticed when I go into physicals and everything. It's really obvious, your feet else. are really cold. Yeah. It's been about 20 minutes or so. So how are you feeling? I feel like a different kind of euphoria than I felt before. It's like a steady, it's like a very, it's a very healthy feeling. Mm -hmm. My whole body, my head feels really clear. I feel like, I, as I, like I'm starting to get like more and more just excited. Mm -hmm. Like I'm feeling excited. Mm -hmm. Um, which, when I was feeling nauseous, I was like, for a second, I was like, oh, why do I do this to myself? No, it's kind of, you feel like you can fly, right? You don't need a car anymore. Well, I was in Australia. I think it was the last time I was in Sydney. A buddy of mine is like, um, the guy that I got my feet broke with, I should have known better than to take his <laughs> advice. It was his idea to jump off this thing. I got my feet broke. And then he's like, Hey, I can hook you up with the, my shaman to do this. I, why Not am I even still a year listening later to this guy or two years later?
Yeah. And so the guy, the guy comes to my hotel room and he's, he's also a comic and he's just been getting into like the shamanic journey and stuff. He's an interesting enough dude. And he, so we go in my hotel bathroom and he burns me and puts this. And what happens is you, you, you don't just vomit, you vomit bile, you vomit like colors you haven't seen before you you turn your your so first your skin your arms and stuff will just start getting all splotchy (laughs) and like crazy looking they're like oh my god what how is this even possible that my my skin could like turn actually green and get splotchy what have i done and then you're like having trouble breathing and your heart's racing it's horrific it's a horrific ordeal to go through and then and then he starts uh, like basically encouraging me to um, throw up in this shamanic way, which was this just amazing um, throat vomit music where he is just like, <laughs> and it was, there was something so amazing about it that I was like, Oh God. Oh God. <laughs> It was just the craziest. It was like if if he was if he was just passing by you on the street and made that noise, you would just vomit everywhere. Oh, there's people with that condition with like you know, there's a type of condition that if you hear a gag, like you can't help but also start doing it. There's a TikTok couple that's huge on that. <laughs> the husband pranks the wife by like, hey Hillary. <laughs> He's like, hey, stop it. And then just can't stop doing the vomit thing. I'm sure it's also pre-planned there. Otherwise, you get divorced instantly. 